Hey everyone, welcome to Technibox and today I'm going to do the video review of Lenovo Vibe K5. It's a mid-range phone from Lenovo and this is the box in which it, the Lenovo Vibe K5 comes in. Here are some of the quick start guide and Lenovo limited warranty papers along with some other instructions in English and some other language. Here is the phone. It comes in a polygene bag. As you can see, the phone looks really good. Let me keep this aside. Here you can see the charger. It's a standard Lenovo charger and it looks pretty solid. Here is the USB cable. It can be used for both charging and data transfers. Let me keep all these aside and take a look at the phone. And now let me boot it for the first time. Here is the Lenovo logo and on the bottom you can see it's powered by Android. It's running Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. Here is the AC adapter charger. It's a 5.0 volt charger with 1.5 ampere output. Here is the charger itself. It connects to the device using a USB cable. On the device, you can see a 13 megapixel camera which can shoot up to 1080p videos. And on the back, you can also see Dolby speakers which are pretty loud. You can also see a Lenovo logo right here. This device is a dual SIM device and it also supports SD cards. The battery on this device is a 2750 mAh battery. It's a lithium polymer battery and on the bottom you can see the speakers which I already talked about. It's a Dolby speaker. The back of the phone is built with metal and it feels pretty solid. The display is a 720p HD display and the viewing angles are pretty good. On the top of the phone, you can see a 1.3 megapixel camera, speaker grill and an LED notification light. On the side of the phone, you have volume rocker and a power button. The device overall is pretty solid, the build is pretty good and it feels really good on your hand. Now let's move on to the software side. You can swipe down to get into the notification bar. It's running a proprietary version of Lenovo's on Android with um, a skin on top of it. The logos have a bit changed. Here you have different options for opening the camera etc. on the lock screen itself. This is the Google camera which I have installed. Now let me unlock the phone. This is the home page. It looks pretty similar to Android Lollipop itself. You also have an app drawer. I think Lenovo must have gone with the pure Android experience rather than putting bloatware into this device. It makes it a bit slower, you can ease, but you can easily uninstall all those bloatware and make the device looks, look pretty good and work really fast. Let me go to the about phone section and go to the device information. As you can see it's running Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. I don't know whether Lenovo will provide users with new update to Marshmallow or even no good. And now going down, you can see uh, it's running an 8 core CPU. It's a Snapdragon 415 CPU, and you have 2 gigs of RAM along with 16 G GB of internal memory. The memory card can be expanded up to 32 GB. The device is pretty fast, it opens everything pretty fast, and the device is also capable for LTE calling, voice over 4G calling. It's a big deal in India right now. So here is the dialer. The voice quality on this device is pretty good and there are some minor issues which can be fixed with the updates. Here is the camera. The camera is a pretty basic camera with limited features and options but it shoots pretty good video and pretty good uh, photos. It can either record photos or uh, capture photos or record video from this device. It shoots up to 1080p videos. Here are the options for video and for camera. You can change the pixel size, scene mode, etc. Here in the video quality section, you can go up to 1080p and it also has the image stabilization, which is pretty neat. It's turned on by default. You also have the HDMI for shooting photos. 
and you also have an LED flash on the back of this device and a front facing camera the front facing camera is not that good compared to the rear camera here are some of the other options like FX etc there are FX like mono, sepia, negative etc now on the back of the device as, you, as I have said already there are two speakers Dolby speakers which are really loud and I really like the speakers on this device you can enable those effects by opening the Dolby Atmos application and turning it on on this application you can switch between movie music games and voice modes which makes the device perform accordingly I mean the make the voice here is the compass application uh, the compass is really useful for people who travels a lot it helps for the better easy navigation device is packed with a good amount of sensors you also have a clock here it's pretty good clock it gets the job done really well and you also have a pretty good file explorer I really like this file explorer because of its arrangement it arranged according to the type of the file you also have an FM radio which requires a headset here is the gallery it's a standard Android gallery Lenovo hasn't done much to this application Swiping left, you have more applications which are most of them are built in. So, here is a basic sound recorder. I have installed some mods on this device like a launcher and an icon pack. Here are some of the other applications. WhatsApp, etc., comes built in, and you can uninstall them whichever you don't want pretty well easily. And going down, you can see the display settings. This device is capable for visual reality you can put this device into a visual reality headset and turn on the visual reality mode for experiencing um, visual reality in games and other applications like google camera etc the device is a powerful device with a qualcomm snapdragon 415 cpu and an arduino uh, 405 gpu it also has 2 gigabytes of ram overall the device handles most of the games that i throw on it pretty well I have tried different games such as Riptide GP2, Dead Trigger, GTA, San Andreas, GTA, Vice City, etc. on this device. I will be making a gameplay video of the same device later on. So as of now as you can see the device, the game is running pretty smoothly on this device. Overall this is a really good device, really good phone for the price you spend. I really recommend it for those people who want to buy a budget phone from Lenovo. That's it guys, thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel like this video see you in the next video bye